Hello there, I'm the Broadcast Ninja. Sorry for screaming your ears off. Uh, <laughs> I'm here now just to, to give you a brief look at clock wheels. Clock wheels, I hear you say, what are they? Well, um, uh, first of all, uh, I need you to picture a clock in your mind, a round-faced clock, an analogue clock, and you have the hours 1 to 12, or um, if you're looking at an analogue 24-hour clock, 1 to 24, however you're looking at it. But you can see it's all separated into hours. And what you're going to do is you want certain genres of music played at certain times of the day or certain playlists made played at certain times of the day. You might want a 70s and 80s playlist played between 6 and midnight. Uh, you might want just 60s played between midnight and 6 o'clock. There's totally different ways, different genres, different hours, but you want to set them out so you know what's playing. So when you write your schedule list for your listeners to go and refer to, they know what's on at what time. Um, right, okay, so uh, playlists, they work, clock wheels work with, with, with an abundance of different inputs of information and we're going to look at that now so where did we finish off last time well last time uh, we were looking at the playlists window uh, we looked at playlists and we were talking about categorizing our music okay so we're going to do that we're going to make some clock wheels up for the 60s the 70s and the 80s we're going to play 60s at a certain time 70s at a certain time 80s at a certain time and then at another certain time a mixture of all three okay right let's work that out uh, and remember, this is transferable. This information is transferable, which means although I'm doing it for 60s, 70s or 80s, whatever your folder format is, you can make it for your fo folder format. I, I don't know how your folders are. Only you know that. I only know how my folders are. So if I show you how are mine, then you can transfer to yours. Right. That being said. Um, right. So we go to config. Up here, we're in desktop A, if you've kept your stuff looking like mine. Desktop A, we go to config, and down here it says playlist rotation rules. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth one down, playlist protection rules. Right now, rotation rules. Now, if we look at it, it's got some numbers on it up this top section up here. Um, and restore defaults and stuff like that. If you mess that up too much, you can click that button and it will put everything back to this. And the reason why it puts everything back to this because this works. This works in an automated station. Um, as you as you get better with Sound Broadcaster, you might want to tweak it a little bit more. This allows you to do some tweaking. But for this demonstration, we are not touching any of it because we don't need to. But down here it says playlist logic modules. Now, logic modules are um, how Sam understands what you want it to do. It has different ways of doing it. One is the clock wheel category rotation method. Um, one is web scripting based. Uh, the other is weighted playlist rotation. OK, but we are going to just worry about the clock wheel category rotation. We're going to rotate through different categories. OK, um, different categories <clears throat> is what we're going to do. So we're going to say config. And when you click config, it automatically opens up in a window with some information. Don't worry. Just highlight everything and backspace. Get rid of everything. You know, we don't want anything in it because we're going to make our own one. And the first one we're going to do over here is for the 60s music. OK, so we click on category. And then it opens up this here, which if you look, is a duplicate of the playlist window. So we want content and music and the 60s folder. And here it says enforce playlist rules. Yep, we're not going to touch them. And here it says the selection method is weighted. Okay. Um, you can Google how music is weighted um, and learn that way. It's, it would take up too much time in this video. So we're going to assume we all understand and enforce playlist rules. It's weighted and we're going to say OK. And this tells us category is coming from the 60s category. It's going to cue a song to the bottom of the playlist. It's going to have some weighted information and it's enforcing the rules um, that's set out in those um, big numbers up here. 
Okay, right, so it's done it. This bit of information here, you really don't need to worry about because Sam Broadcaster puts that down so it knows, right? So it was left up here, um, flashing away up here is where it was flashing. So category, we go again and we say from the uh, 60s. Uh, this time we're going to say the least played artist. We're giving it a rule now. We want to look at who it hasn't played any music by in a while. Stick him in. Give him some airplay. Okay. And we're going to go again and say content and then music and then 60s again. But this time we're going to say the most played art song. Uh, most played song. Sorry. So we're going to select that. And then last but not least, we're going to go back to 60s again. Uh, and we're going to say a random song. And say okay so if we look here uh, excuse me if we, we look here we pretty much got um four categories from the 60s and it's going to do different things to each one okay it's got some rules now it's got some input and some rules to deal with so we're going to save this information we're going to save it and we're going to call it over here 60s okay and it's going to save it as a CWF in a folder that I've already made called Clockwheels. Now, I would suggest you put that folder somewhere safe on your computer. You could put it in your SAM Broadcaster folder under all the other folders so you know exactly where to go to get it. Where you put that folder is totally down to you. You might want it on an external drive. However your computer is set up, only you know that. But it needs to go into somewhere where you know where you can go and find that clock wheel. Okay. Uh, mine is in a folder called clock wheels. You can see I've got 70s, I've got 80s, and now I've got 60s. So I click 60s. Okay. Um, and now, now that's done. What I want to do is I just want to re... I want it, the 80s to be exactly the same. OK, now, if you remember when we made our categories folders over here, I did tell you it's really important to remember how it's structured because it's type specific. Um, if I'd done six, if I wanted something to come from the 60s folder, but I typed six zero apostrophe S, it won't know where it is because there's no apostrophe in the name of the folder. It will be looking for a folder with an apostrophe in it. So you have to make sure it says the same. So these are quite simple 60s. Um, I'm going to change the 6 to an 8 so you can see exactly how transferable it is. 8. 8. And 8. And say save. And then going to save it as that 80s. And say save. And say replace. Yes. And say OK. So as you saw there, I have three clock wheels now from the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, because I made them like that. Okay, so that's how you make a clock wheel. Now, if you're wondering how to implement that clock wheel into your automation, then join me on the next video. Please remember, rewind, read. If you don't get it, rewind read until you get it the information is there i promise you if you have a question in the comment section sling it down there please find the time to click the thumbs up it helps it helps honestly and of course if you haven't subscribed then do so because i am the broadcast ninja and if you're interested in all things broadcastable then uh this is where you'll probably see a, a very simple explanation of it i will catch you in the next video where we put these clock wheels to some use.